Hello and welcome. I'm Aidan Bourne, Hardscape's Regional Manager for Scotland. Together, we will be looking at how Hardscape is actively supporting specifiers in their efforts to design projects which mitigate and adapt to climate change. As a supplier of both natural and manufactured materials, we're acutely aware of the difficulty you face as specifiers looking to make the right choice for our planet. This brief video will deliver you the knowledge and confidence to allow you to make the right choice. For centuries, granite, sandstone, concrete and clay have been used as paving materials due to their hard wearing nature. Now whilst this core reason for their use hasn't changed, we do need to find ways to make better use of the resources available to us. So how do we do this? Well, we're encouraging people to think differently and get creative with how you specify materials. There are all sorts of options available to us which will have an immediate impact. These are solutions which will take effect today, so let's have a look at them together. We would like to introduce our sustainability strategy, positioning us as the environmentally conscious choice for landscape architects who are looking to make the best use of the finite resources available. Because of this, we are thinking differently at how we can use materials in the most efficient and effective way possible. That's why we created our sustainability strategy with four areas of focus. First off, we have efficiency. Efficiency is where we look at how we can reduce our consumption of raw materials. In other words, how can we reduce the volume of material being used? This can be anything from small changes such as specifying random lengths for natural stone elements to reduce wastage, through to using thickness calculators to ensure we aren't over specifying the depth of slabs or sets. This thickness calculator is something we will take a look at shortly. Second, we have quality. Quality is where we analyse all the materials available and select specific materials which optimise the specification to suit design demands. For example, granites are often lumped together and taken as a single entity, and the reality is actually far from that. Every natural stone will vary a great deal in performance. So if we were to seek out stronger than average materials, what impact could this have on the sustainability of the project? That's something we'll, we will look at in our worked example. Third, we have innovation. Innovation is developing new products and production methods which actively mitigate and adapt to the impact of climate change. Examples of this include low carbon paving, such as Kellen Zero, which replaces its cement binder with a geopolymer binding agent. This small change reduces its carbon footprint by up to 70% compared to our standard Kellen range. To give that some context, if we were to supply 2,500 square metres of Kellen Zero instead of our standard range, it would be the equivalent of taking 10 cars off of the road for an entire year. Other options within our green paving range enable you to subtly blend areas of hard and soft landscape without the need for hard borders. We also have products which enable you to manage your suds in a way in which won't inhibit your design aesthetic. Products such as drain joint will allow you to use any paving material, whether it's natural stone, kellen or clay, and make it a permeable system. Expertise. Expertise gained through experience is crucial to ensuring efficiency, quality and innovation can all be implemented effectively. In order to do so, we have a few exciting developments which will help us achieve this. Our website is our hub of all digital developments. Recently, you may have seen we have added 3D samples. These are super high-res files which will allow you to see our samples in 3D. This helps the planet by reducing our sample carbon footprint and also reduces waste as these are rarely recycled. A major change to our website is the addition of Strata, our digital asset library. We take great pride in the projects we're involved in and have a full-time photography team that tours the UK and Ireland. We realise this bank of images is an incredibly valuable resource to specifiers wanting to understand a little bit more about our products and how they can be used. Up to now, this all feels a little conceptual. So let's work through a live example. Let's take a fictitious street, London Road, which is a new streetscape scheme where there is a requirement for 5,000 square meters of pedestrian footways and 3,000 square meters of trafficked area. 
If we apply the strategies we talked through a moment ago, what impacts can we have on the overall sustainability of the project? Traditionally, when looking at natural stone, we would see fairly generic specifications showing 75mm thick for pedestrian areas and 150mm thick for road sets. So if we use this 75 and 150mm thick as a benchmark to work from, it means the overall amount of material required for the project would come to 825 cubic metres or 83 loads of material. So if we start with efficiency, how does this thickness calculator work? This calculator is based on an equation specified in BS 1341 and 1342. The key piece of information required for accurate calculations is the flexural strength lower expected value of the specific material in question. Every material will have a different value and over time these can change depending on the quarry. In this example, we will use Silver Villa as the granite we are looking to use. Silver Villa has an LEV value of 12.4. Here, we have allowed for 150 by 300 mil sets with a class six usage, which is the highest use class reserved for roads, streets, and petrol stations. We have allowed for 450 by 900 mil paving with a class four use, which is reserved for pedestrian areas and marketplaces which are subject to occasional overrun by heavy vehicles. As you can see here, we're able to reduce the depth of the slabs by a substantial margin to 85 mil thick in the roadway and 63 mil thick in the pedestrian areas. These changes have reduced the required material by over 30%. That's 25 loads out of the original 83 gone. Think of the emissions reduced just in the delivery of the materials alone. We mentioned before about seeking out stronger than average materials. What impact could that have on our project? Previously, we were looking at Silver Villa, a European granite with flexural strength of 12.4. As we mentioned before, different granites have different values. One such material is called Montemuro and is also a silver gray granite from Portugal. However, Montemuro has a flexural strength of 18. Often we see these numbers as random numbers on a test data sheet, but what impact could this have on our specification? Well, if we input this data, we can see that we've managed to reduce the depth further. We're now looking at 70 mil thick for the road sets and 50 mil thick for the pedestrian paving. We are now at 44% reduction against our initial value. That's 40 loads of an initial 83 loads now not required. All of this has been done from behind a desk, searching out high specification materials, which have up-to-date valid test data, allowing you to accurately determine where they need to be specified to be fit for purpose. Up to now, we have looked at using natural stone. Traditionally, if kellen or clay had been considered for a project, it has been looked at for the pedestrian areas alone. Yet, when we look deeper into the British standards, we can see the standards for concrete and clay only call for 80 mil thick in trafficked areas. Using kellen or clay in the carriageway could help us to avoid using 150 mil thick granite sets, which are costly both economically and environmentally. Using kellen or clay will also help reduce the carbon footprint of the ski, as it can be laid flexibly with a sand bed and sand joints which is substantially better for the environment versus a mortar joint. So where does that leave us? Well, it brings us out at nearly 40% less material than the original specification. The strategies set out in this video are not a one size fits all solution. And the secret to making this work is in the collaboration between us and you. We have put this strategy in place as an ambassador for good practice and to ensure Hardscape maintains its position at the cutting edge of hard landscaping for years to come. Thank you for taking the time to watch this today and we look forward to delivering more sustainable projects with you in the near future.